Here we go, another bum bites the dust. YTBC, here we go, another bum bites the dust. Triple G fans, uh, here we go, another bum bites the dust. Look at his resume, here we go, another bum bites the dust. His resume sucks, here we go, another bum bites the dust. You're not fighting Canelo, here we go, another bum bites the dust. Triple G is garbage, here we go, another bum bites the dust. <laughs> if your name is Triple G, we know you're not gonna fight nobody. Please stop fighting all these bums. You look like a silly ass dumb dumb. Triple G fans, here we go, another bum bites the dust. What can we say? Here we go, another bum bites the dust. I can't even think. Here we go, another bum bites the dust. Triple G, fight somebody, another bum bites the dust. <laughs> another bum bites the dust. Oh, Lord. Hey, listen, man. YTBC, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. Guys, listen, I'm just going to tell y'all right now. This fight was garbage. This fight was garbage. I never made a prediction fight video on it. I didn't care to make a prediction fight video because I already knew the result. I knew Triple G would knock this guy out. I knew he would do it. I just didn't know when. I gave Dominic Wade. I said he would last at least five rounds before he tasted the canvas. No, I was completely wrong. He tasted the canvas in the first round. He tasted the canvas again in the second round. And Triple G caught him with a straight right hand. And Dominic Wade did not even, he didn't get up. He could have got up, but Dominic Wade. Wade said to hell with it. I don't want no more of that. Dominic Wade was clearly afraid. I, I felt bad for the kid. Dominic Wade shouldn't have been in that ring. He just shit, man. And you know what? A lot of these Triple G fans, they're going to run around here. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Triple G has arrived. Oh, and no, he hasn't arrived because he fights yet another guy that can't fight back. Another bum bites the dust. <laughs> People, that's just the way that is. We can say that Dominic Wade was a mandatory, but stop it. I keep telling you fools that these governing bodies are corrupt. They can make anybody they want to be a mandatory. Uh, do we, did, did we forget about Rod Salka? Did we see how far... Now, Rod Salka was never made to be a mandatory of Danny Garcia, but Rod Salka was moved up the rankings mysteriously, and then Danny Garcia was able to fight him. How does that happen? How? How y'all going to explain this? How you Triple G fans going to explain this one? People, listen. This has got to stop. What is Triple G doing? This is not legacy. This is foolery. This man is building a resume on knocking out the defenseless. <laughs> Triple G, pick on somebody your own size. Triple G. Fight somebody who will fight back that's not afraid of you. And let's not say that everybody is ducking Triple G. Let Stop. Stop it. Stop saying that. Because I'm still going to come back to this every chance I get to stick it to all of you guys. Andre Ward would love this fight. But, unfortunately, Triple G called a bluff and said, let's fight at 164. We know... That Triple G wouldn't even fight him at 164 anyway. He wouldn't fight him anywhere. You know why? Because Andre Ward would beat the hell out of Triple G. I'm going back to that every chance I get. Iris Landy Laura called out Triple G. That fight still has not materialized because Triple G will not fight Laura. People, that's just the way that is. That's just how it is. He ain't going to fight him, okay? Hell, you know what? I want one of them Charlo brothers to move up. I want to see Demetrius Andre. Look, somebody get in the ring and fight this dude. I mean, please. Because it is getting ridiculous, man, the amount of bums that this guy's beating up. This fight was garbage. This fight was garbage, okay? And Triple G, his resume is garbage. And anybody that just want to say, let's debate his resume. Oh, please, let's debate his resume, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I, I, only thing I got to say, hey, he fought Martin Murray. Okay, I won't call Martin Murray a bum. I'll call him Bum Jr. Well, hey, he got in the ring with David Lemieux. Bum. Hey, Willie Monroe gave him a tough fight. Bum. Hey, Gabe Rosado. Gabe, now, Gabe Rosado fought him tough. Oh, Gabe Rosado has been beaten up by a lot of people, okay? He's a bum in waiting. 
Listen, man, that's just how that is. This guy fights bums. And he is going to live the rest of his natural life fighting bums. People, I have just gotten it. You know what? I would never buy any network. You know, I stopped getting HBO. I, I don't get HBO anymore. Because, you know why? All because of Triple G, Jim Lampley, and Max Kellerman is the reason why I don't even get HBO anymore. And if Triple G ever did a pay-per-view, <laughs> 97000 okay, I would stream that too. But everybody want to say this guy is the greatest thing since a bowl of ice cream. People, I, I just can't get it. I can't get it. And then his post-fight interview, I mean, Triple G looking like Dumbo the Clown, and ah, oh, wants my belt. Ah, oh, blah, blah. Shut up, Triple G. Shut up. Shut up and get in the ring. And look, look, anybody, anybody who will fight back. I just want somebody to get in the ring with this dude and be and, and just fight. Just fight him. Give him a touch. Somebody who won't fall down, man. When you when you spit on him, he pissed on Dominic Wade, and Dominic Wade fell over. I mean, man, come on, this dude was brought in to be knocked out by Triple G. I'm sorry, y'all. People, this fight garbage. I don't know, you know, how, how y'all feel. Oh, you hate no Triple G. And don't tell me that I'm hating on Triple G because he's a white guy. Triple G is not even a white guy. I keep trying to tell you guys that Triple G is not a white guy. He's not a white guy. Okay? I got friends from Kakistan, and let me tell you, they don't look white. They look Asian, you idiots. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I don't want to talk about this garbage fight anymore. I'm done.